Hey guys, today we gonna talk about top 5 most common web security vulnerabilities. So, let begins. When speaking with other security researchers and IT professionals, we often encounter confusion regarding the distinction between authorization and authentication. Authentication means that verifying that a person is, or at least appears to be, a specific user, since he slash she has correctly provided their security credentials. And authorization means that confirming that a particular user has access to a specific resource or is granted permission to perform a particular action. While keeping it in mind, let's dive into top 5 web security vulnerabilities. Number 1 is injection attacks. Injection flaws result from a classic failure to filter untrusted input. It can happen when you pass unfiltered data to the SQL server leading us to SQL injection, to the browser, to the LDAP server LDAP injection, or anywhere else. The problem here is that the attacker can inject commands to these entities, resulting in loss of data and hijacking clients' browsers. Prevention, the good news is that protecting against injection is simply a matter of filtering your input properly and thinking about whether an input can be trusted. But the bad news is that all input needs to be properly filtered, unless it can unquestionably be trusted. Number 2 is broken authentication. This is a collection of multiple problems that might occur during broken authentication, but they don't all stem from the same root cause. Just to mention a number of problems, number 1 is the URL might contain the session ID and leak it in the referrer header to someone else. Number is 2 is the passwords might not be encrypted either in storage or transit. Number 3 is the session IDs might be predictable, thus gaining access is trivial. Prevention, the most straightforward way to avoid this web security vulnerability is to use a framework. You might be able to implement this correctly, but the former is much easier. In case you do want to roll your own code, be extremely paranoid and educate yourself on what the pitfalls are. There are quite a few. Number 3 is security misconfiguration. Web servers and applications that have been misconfigured are way more common than those that have been configured properly. Perhaps this because there is no shortage of ways to screw up. Some examples, 1. Running the application with debug enabled in production. 2. Having directory listing enabled on the server, which leaks valuable information. 3. Having unnecessary services running on the machine. Prevention, have a good, build and deploy, process, which can run tests on deploy. The poor man's security misconfiguration solution is post commit hooks, to prevent the code from going out with default passwords and slash or development stuff built in. Number 4 is sensitive data exposure. Sensitive data should be encrypted at all times, including in transit and at rest. No exceptions. Credit card information and user passwords should never travel or be stored unencrypted, and passwords should always be hashed. Obviously the crypto slash hashing algorithm must not be a weak one, when in doubt, web security standards recommend AES and RSA. Prevention, in transit, use HTTPS with a proper certificate and perfect forward secrecy. Do not accept anything over non-HTTPS connections. Have the secure flag on cookies. In storage, this is harder. First and foremost, you need to lower your exposure. If you don't need sensitive data, shred it. Data you don't have can't be stolen. Do not store credit card information ever. Sign up with a payment processor. Second, if you have sensitive data that you actually do need, store it encrypted and make sure all passwords are hashed. For hashing, use of BCRYPT is recommended. If you don't use BCRYPT, educate yourself on salting and rainbow tables. Number 5 is unvalidated redirects and forwards. This is once again an input filtering issue. Suppose that the target site has a redirect module that takes a URL as a get parameter. Manipulating the parameter can create a URL on targetsite.com that redirects the browser to Malvari install. When the user sees the link, they will see targetsite.com blah blah blah, which the user thinks is trusted and is safe to click. Little do they know that this will actually transfer them onto a malware drop or any other malicious page. Alternatively, the attacker might redirect the browser to targetsite.com slash delete profile question mark confirm equal sign 1. Prevention, options include, don't do redirects at all. Have a static list of valid locations to redirect to. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. Like this video and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.